We're here at Abu Dhabi International Airport. We're about to get on Etihad's first A350 flight, uh, flying to Paris. So let's go see what it's all about. We're here in the business cabin of Etihad's new A350 and as you can see the seats are super wide, uh, they're over 20 inches and each seat comes with a sliding door so that you can close it over for complete privacy. There is also uh, high ceilings and if you notice there's no uh, overhead luggage bins in the middle which gives you a real feeling of space. Inside your seat uh, you can lie flat And you can also use the noise cancelling headphones or you can use this function to pair your Bluetooth headphones. There's also a handy little function is the wireless charging where you just pop your phone on here and it charges automatically. Each of the seats comes with an extra wide TV screen and the in-flight entertainment system has a new dark mode which makes it easier on the eyes and easier to switch off and relax. There's also it's a new function for children where kids can see an interactive map of their journey and watch kids' movies and listen to child-friendly music. In the economy cabin, it's extra wide and it has these overhead luggage bins that are the largest in the industry. It also has the highest ceilings in the industry. They're 2.4 meters high and it really gives you that sense of space these are the economy space seats. They take up the first three rows of the aircraft and when you book in these seats you get an extra four inches of legroom. Uh, you can also book neighbour free seating so that you don't have anyone beside you and you can really spread out. So this aircraft, like the Greenliner, which is its sibling, the Boeing aircraft, is a sustainable aircraft. It will be used as a flying test bed to experiment with lots of different initiatives. Things like sustainable aviation fuels, low carbon aviation fuels. Because it's a new generation, it flies at a lower cabin pressure. So typically it flies at 6,000 feet cabin pressure versus 8,000 feet that other airplanes fly at. That actually makes it a more comfortable environment as well. Having just got off a seven hour flight, I'm feeling quite well rested and that's probably because the A350 is one of the quietest aircraft in the sky. It's something that you really notice on takeoff and on landing and also through the duration of the flight. And with the jet set to fly long haul to the US this summer, it's a feature that could really work in its favour.